Hey, hoopsters. Look at that good old chicken that we cooked the other day. Ooh, y'all, we ready to eat. I'm so ready to eat, y'all. I hope this camera don't cut off again. Hey, hoopsters, how y'all doing today? Ooh, let's say prayers. Father God, thank you for this food. I'm about to eat may bring nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Bless those who have not food, a shelter, Lord. Give them what they need, Lord, to survive. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. amen. Hey, hoopsters, y'all know yesterday, was it yesterday? The day before, or last week we did those pig feet. I'm definitely going to do it again. I had over 1,000 people to look at that video. I was like, oh, that's the first time ever. Look here, y'all need to do this with this chicken too. I did a, a cooking video. Y'all will see that. This is the first time that I have done a roasted chicken in the oven because I always do it in the air fryer, the whole chicken that is. So y'all, we have some roasted chicken with uh, rosemary and uh, butter, uh, herbs, good. We got some uh, garlic mashed potatoes and we have some yellow and white corn. So take your fork and get you some because once I start eating, it's all mine. So come on. Whew, thank y'all so much for my new hustlers. I think it's 20 of y'all. Hey, I'm glad that y'all subscribe, but hit that bell too, okay? Y'all, let's toast because I got some news to tell y'all today. Cheers. Cheers and cheers. Uh, y'all, pray for those who have lost their jobs. Today was my last day, but we're going to eat and then we're going to talk a little. So cheers again, y'all. Oh, I got some of uh, that ice water. I think it's, I can't see. <laughs> oh, it's orange and mango, y'all. Mmm. Y'all, this is so good. Oh, y'all. Yesterday was good. I had some company and we drank some uh, pink flamingos and ate some good uh, uh, desserts that I did. Not desserts. What am I, talk what am I talking about? Not dessert. Our d'oeuvres, y'all. I did our d'oeuvres yesterday. Puff pastry and uh, a dip. And then I would drink, honey, it was good. And then, of course, you know, the good music in the background. So, y'all, let's eat a little bit. And then I'm going to tell y'all. And I'm just so shaky today. And I don't know. I know it's because I, what I'm going to tell y'all, my nerves. But I know God got me. Mm. Oh, goodness. Y'all, take a second bite. That's good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, how y'all doing today? I hope y'all good. Who continue to pray, y'all? Who? There's so much going on in this world. So much. Mm. I don't have a time, y'all. It's 2.41 where I am. I'll keep looking at it. Yeah, y'all, take a second bite. Take a second, take a second bite. That good old herb season. Chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all looking at that's so juicy. That's so juicy in there. I mean, when I tell y'all I did the perfect baked chicken, I'm going to do that again. Like them pee, -pee. I'm going to do that again. Mmm. I don't know what I'm going to cook next. Only know when I'm cooking, I, I, I was thinking like on Saturday because I go to the stores on Saturday. What would I be cooking tomorrow? Well, on Sunday, there you go. I got all the food in my mouth. Did y'all hear what I said? On Sundays, that is after church. Yeah. Do y'all cook uh, after church on Sundays? I do y'all go out to eat.
our traditions was to cook on Sundays. But for me, the single girl, I, I want to cook on Sundays and eat the leftovers for two or three days until I'm done with it. I'm tired of it. And then um, I cook on Fridays, y'all. As y'all know, a lot of times it's seafood. I did go to Aldi's. I've seen a couple of people doing the Aldi's seafood bag. I went the other day and got me one. We'll probably be doing that Friday. But I don't know if I'm going to record that. I may or may not. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to see what I'm doing. However, y'all already know, I'm going to add some more stuff to it. I'm going to do it like the bag say, but I'm going to add some more seafood. Like maybe a couple of blue crabs. Mm-hmm. And a couple more shrimp. Because it looks like they shrimp and that's pretty small. So I'll probably do a, a couple of um, extra large shrimp. Just a couple, not a lot. Mm. This is so good. If I'd have had some dinner rolls, I probably would have did something, probably not. Because I did cornbread last week. I the muffins, they were so, so good. So good. Mmm. That chicken's trying to get away. Oh yeah, I'm almost six months to uh, with my locks. They doing good. I'll do that review. Mm. I'm hungry. This y'all been white corn pretty good too, y'all. that wing y'all some of that breast and it's so juicy y'all y'all know I love my hot sauce oh god mm. Mm. That breast is so soft and tender and juicy. Oh! All right, y'all. Time is up.
y'all know that I was saying for about the last month or so that I was on the uh, layoff list with IBM and uh, it's called redeploy and uh, today is actually my last day they gave me my separation papers Uh, they gave us severance. However, for all the years that I gave them, they only gave me 30 days of severance. I'm not going to complain. They gave it to me. Uh, I've already applied for my unemployment today as well. And somebody told me to, uh, and I thought about it as well, to uh, apply for SNAP, I think it is, EBT. Something food stamps, I don't know what the hell it is, y'all. We'll see. <laughs> I ain't too proud, honey. But, you know, we set our plans for us, but God, I always have something different. I got some positive people in my very small circle, and I thank God for them because, you know, Losing your job at age 60, you know, and you know, with IBM, as big as it is, I never thought that I would be laid off at 60 because my plan was at 62, I'm going to do early retirement, you know, and as hard as it is, I never thought that I would lose my job at 60 because even even though they say you can't discriminate with age, when they look at my application and they see I'm 60, would they even hire me? Because, because you know, I told y'all the other day, you know, now I'm over 80 some jobs for applying for 80 some jobs and not one person has called me, not one person has emailed me. I know I trust God, but in my human nature, it is really scary because I'm so close to retirement, and yet I'm looking for a job at age 60. So, God say the same with that, uh, with that uh, severance pay. I'm going to pay my lease an extra month ahead. So, when the unemployment comes in, I'll be ready, you know without going into my um, my savings account and mess with that money. It's sad though, y'all. So I'm praying for everybody that has lost their jobs, man. In this day and time, it's just so much happening. And I know we're in the end days, but who if we don't have our house in order, you better get your house in order for real. I met a very nice lady on the unemployment line. She was nice. She encouraged me. She was God friendly. And God knew I needed that at that moment. <sighs> Y'all. It's just so scary. Thank y'all for listening. And yes, I am teary, y'all, because it's hard to lose a job. And everybody is losing jobs. Man, every time you look at the news, you got more companies laying off all their admins, you know, for AI. Mm-mm. Who knew? Mmm. Woo. I'm getting full. On the news, y'all, in China, they have robots looking just like a freaking human being. Blinking their eyes, the face, the skin. Child. Now that's scary. Mm -hmm. 
And just to make light of the situation, would one of them be my boyfriend? <laughs> oh, and cousin, I saw your I saw your uh, your response when you say you want to talk more about the man. Well, he hanged on by a thread because he came after me too fast for sex, and I'm thinking like. That is one of my biggest turnoffs. Now I know sex is support, but you you haven't even gave us a whole month of chatting, and you know we 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 chatted, but we only went on one date. And you think I'm about to drop my panties for you? Uh uh, no. But I had to get him in check because I'm gonna tell y'all a thousand times. When you are dating, you teach people how to treat you about what you allow them to do to you. I shut I shut him down for a few days, honey. A few. We kind of chatting again. He don't want to let it go, but you're going to learn how to treat me. You're going to treat me with respect. And I'm a little older than you, so you better respect me. <laughs> Period. Mm. Oh, goodness. That's so good. Period. He is cute. And he fine. But but you 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 got to give me your mind. I want to know your intelligence. I can get a penis when I'm starving. And that don't cost me nothing. So I, Men and women today, I don't know what to say in the dating world, that is. Y'all, I'm cleaning my plate. Y'all see that? Uh oh. I have eaten, honey. Full. This chicken go hard, though, y'all. Um, y'all see me do the, the air fried chicken before? Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. What y'all want to see me eat next? Keep it cheap, y'all. Remember, I don't have no job. <laughs> I've been applying. Now, I've already applied for over 80 jobs, y'all. That's what breaks my heart. But uh, I've also applied for a couple of... Um, part-time job, so let's see what they're going to do. You know? I'm going to get in somewhere. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. How long have we been here? We've been 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, let's say goodbye. Thank y'all so much for listening. Pray for everybody that has lost their jobs. Pray. And keep praying without ceasing. Okay? Let's let's go. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. Thank y'all so much for your support. If y'all keep doing this, maybe I can get paid on, off, off of here too. Because uh, I've been on here three and a half years and I ain't getting paid. So I'm going to need y'all to support your hood girl. So tell your friend to bring a friend. To come on over and look at me when, when I'm doing something. <laughs> Bye y'all. I love y'all. Peace out.